the helicopter's rotor blades boast a massive 56-foot span. Try to squeeze the S-92 on board, and there will only be one outcome. So Dan's team must take the blades off one by one, handling them with extra care. Easing the pins loose, making sure not to score or twist them, and keeping the highly tuned aerofoils dent free. Only then can the S-92 begin the rest of its journey. What they'll have to do is take off uh, all the blades, the tail rotor. You can see the protection going on right now for some critical parts so they don't scrape paint. First task, take off the rotor blades. They'll use a crane to take the weight of each blade. They must keep them perfectly positioned so their pins slide out without a struggle. We have liftoff, Houston. <laughs> Each blade is worth half a million dollars. A dent in their precision engineered aerofoils could affect the S-92's ability to fly. Shot. Try lagging the blade a little bit. Okay, hold it. Need it. Blade's coming out. You guys got it. Let's hope the other two go as smoothly as the first. It takes 30 painstaking minutes to remove each blade. Last task, remove one of the rear rotors. Yeah, you've got two on there. There might be a third. The blade will slide right out of the cuff. Watch the pitch link. Each of these blades is worth $210,000. Damn it. Holding this in your hand is about the equivalent of holding a Dodge Viper. Um, or a high-end Corvette. So we want to make sure as well that this is equally as protected as the main blades. We got a piece of styrofoam that we put on here to help protect the aircraft. No scratches. It's an extraordinary amount of wrapping and packing but it's the only way to give the precious helicopter a fighting chance of squeezing into the Antonov without a scratch. <laughs>